I don't know you guys, people complain all the time about how the Sims team doesn't listen to us. <laughs> Whatever that means. I think they forget that they're like on Twitter constantly reading what people say to them. But also we're working on our second community voted stuff pack where we decide what the stuff pack's gonna be. And they posted a survey yesterday that we can kind of talk about the future of the Sims with. Now I haven't taken it yet. We're gonna do that right now. But I have heard a lot about it and it seems like it's pretty intriguing as far as the questions and what they're talking about adding to the game. The community manager SimGuru Frost posted this yesterday. One thing the Sims community loves to be is vocal about their feedback. So I've been working with the dev team and the Sims brand team on creating a new survey that focuses on potential features slash changes for the future of The Sims 4. I'll link this down below, obviously, for you. <laughs> Seriously though, the developers on Twitter, definitely worth a follow. You get stuff like this. I think this is in The Sims on the homepage right now also, but you know, you get stuff like this, <laughs> you get like inside info, you get all kinds of hints and stuff. Well, not really, we don't really get hints, but sometimes the team will like change their profile pictures to like things from new packs and stuff. So it's kind of fun to see and they talk about the game. I don't know, Twitter community for The Sims, awesome. Seven minutes to complete and is 11 questions. Oh my goodness. Let's emphasize though, these are potential changes and or features. None of this means anything. <laughs> I think we all have a tendency to take stuff and run with it in this game um, and in this community, but this is like a, a community survey. They're trying to get, they're like testing the waters, all right? They're not announcing new features. They aren't confirming new features. They're not even hinting at new features. They're just asking opinions on potential things. Potential things. Okay, let's begin. Game updates. Ooh, overall, how satisfied or dissatisfied are you with the December game update where we- I can't read. Overall, how satisfied or dissatisfied are you with the December game update where we fixed a large number of bugs? That was a big update. They fixed a ton of stuff. However, the terrain paint bug still exists. <laughs> Therefore, somewhat satisfied. <laughs> I want to say very satisfied, but th God, the terrain paint bug. If you haven't seen this horrible problem yet, when you're trying to paint terrain underneath like plants and stuff, the, the thing like moves. It's so weird. I, oh God, that, yeah, somewhat satisfied. Once you fix that, I'll be happy. Oh, on a scale of one to 10, where 10 is the highest and one is the lowest, how interested are you in these relationship features? They know the key to my heart. Shared personal history. A relationship's past impacts the present. For example, good friends who had a dramatic falling out may have a harder time reconnecting. I feel like we kind of have that already. Sort of, maybe. I think this is reasonable. <laughs> Sims share repeated activities with preferred sims such as brunch buddies. Isn't that kind of like what clubs are? I guess that would be fun though. Brunch buddies? I mean, come on. Relationship compatibility, personal factors affect how well a sim gets along with another. This, we need so desperately. Like for sims that maybe have similar traits or skills or interests to like automatically maybe get along better. And it might be kind of annoying if they like, you know, were different, you know, like good and evil sims so they don't get along because it kind of impacts your ability to have like these opposites attract relationships, but it makes sense for sims that have similar interests to be closer friends. Like, I love that. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say I'm very interested in that. Oh, I didn't answer any of these things. <laughs> We can come back to those too. Relationship tone. Relationships have short-term statuses such as furious with Sim X. I think that's interesting. I feel like that's kind of a thing we already have. I mean, I guess we have like these conversation tones, but if you had like for a few days, like a furious with, you know, your sister thing, I don't know if I care that much about that. <laughs> but more relationship types have new ways to define relationship, have new ways to define relationship dynamics such as bromance. Absolutely. Can we also get with that things, you know, like um, the ability to define grandma, aunt, uncle, blah, 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 boyfriend, girlfriend in cast. Because in The Sims 3, when you were setting up relationships, you could kind of like drag a family tree around and you could also make Sims be dating or engaged or already married from that. And right now we can just make them married from cast. And I wish that I could like set up a dating relationship from cast because why not? It doesn't make sense. Sims outside of your household can propose marriage and ask for- Oh my god, please. Yes, please. I think it's so weird how like you have to be the one initiating the entire relationship for your sims. I mean, obviously it makes sense because like you're the one controlling your sim, but it would make a lot of sense if your boyfriend proposed to you maybe sometimes or if the guy you've been dating for years asked to be your boyfriend, maybe. And imagine if they dumped you. <laughs> I think the issue with this is that sometimes you don't necessarily want the game to impact your gameplay, but a lot of people do want the game to impact your gameplay. So the reason that we have these like weird like, so it poses this weird question of like how much interference should the game do? How much should it affect me and my stories that I'm trying to tell? Because they don't want to like 
write it for you, but they do want to push it along a little bit. And you know what? Sometimes you might not want to get dumped, but also it'd be fun if they could. And like, you can cheat to fix it if you need to. And isn't it so fun when like random sims die or, you know, propose to you out of nowhere? That would be great. This is an absolute like 11 out of 10. <laughs> I want that so bad. This is very important to me. All of them are. <laughs> Please. Please can I have all of these three though? Relationship compatibility, more relationship types, and initiated romance? Please. Please. <laughs> okay. Gameplay features. Oh, and a second home! Oh my- okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> I would very much love to buy another lot and set up your home away from home. The thing about this is that, I don't know with our current game and world setup, how reasonable that would be. Like, we don't really have- I mean, we have a ton of lots, but like, I kind of wonder, like, do I really need another house lot, maybe? Because like, you can kind of pretend with the retail system from get to work, you could like, buy a shop and then make it your house, but it would be nice to own another lot, and I don't know why we can't own another lot, so. <laughs> and a lot of people want this- OH! Design and run for a resort! Okay, sorry. Care for guests, manage employees, and become a five-star resort. I think everyone knows that we want this. Like, come on, <laughs> we've been saying this forever. <laughs> I loved Island Paradise in The Sims 3 and running the hotels. That was so fun. And it was kind of sad when we didn't get it this time in Island Living, but it's okay. Maybe we'll get like a game pack. <laughs> and for the record, I don't think that them adding a resort game pack is like a My First Pet stuff too. I think that Island Living is very separate from any kind of resort game pack. Like Island Living, sure it's on an island, but that pack at its core is not about vacations. <laughs> if they made a resort pack, that has nothing to do with Island Living, you know? So like, I would be totally fine with them doing that as a game pack separately. Because their, their aim with Island Living was to make this like, relaxed island small community lifestyle and not like a big resort tourist destination. Those are two very different things. <laughs> and I would be- I would love to have a game pack that was like a hotel sort of concept. Choose your sims activity level, social preferences, habits, etc. Oh my god, if we could define more about our sims. Things like in the sims 2 you could pick their like, attractions and stuff like that. If you could have more control over how your sim behaves and like be able to define that stuff, just more features to define their personality. So things like their social preferences and habits and stuff, I would love that so much. Take a group on a day trip, such as a family pool day or a mountain climb. Hmm. <laughs> and the thing about this, right, is that that kind of seems to me to be something that you could do with clubs already. At least that's how I use clubs right now, the get together feature from clubs. I have like a family club and I could have them all go to the pool together and kind of make that outing. But if they had a separate like outing feature, I don't know how that would be implemented, but I, I wouldn't complain about that. I don't necessarily think that I need it desperately. It isn't like a, a groundbreaking new thing to me, but I would love that. that would, I mean, I'm not gonna say like not interested in that at all, you know? <laughs> also the idea of a mountain climb. I was thinking when they said this resort thing, because we already have the island world, if they made some sort of like mountain, like ski resort world, that I've been wanting a mountain world forever. Like that's what I've been saying for years, like mountain world. <laughs> If we had a ski resort, if you want a mountain climb, and I would absolutely want a vacation at a resort, 100%. Take your Sims on a vacation to a splendid luxury hotel. I read that whole sentence wrong, by the way, but you know what? I'm into it. <laughs> I would love to do that. Oh my god, okay, I'm thinking more about this. I would love to go on a, a ski resort vacation. Just like having resorts in general as a lot type, because I mean, even like Selva Dorana, right? The jungle adventure world. Maybe you don't want to go and rough it on a campsite, and, and tour, you know, these random tombs. But maybe you want to go to this tropical world at a resort. You could put a resort down in that world <laughs> and then go on vacation there. Or maybe you don't want to go camping, but you want to go to the forest. You could put a fancy resort in Granite Falls and you could either camp or you could stay at the fancy hotel and you can run the fancy hotel. I mean, everything about this would be great. <laughs> We- I think this is a, a very collective, like, everyone wants this kind of thing. Like, I- I know I'm not wrong about that. I think we all are like, yes, give us hotels. There's an <laughs> easy answer. Other snow activities. Alright, I think they're really leaning towards some sort of mountain pack. Like, if that's what this survey seems to be about. <laughs> the Sims 4 seasons include snow activities such as skating in an ice rink and playing in the snow. On a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is the highest, blah blah blah. How interested are you in these other snow activities? Okay, so we can already ice skate in the skating rinks that pop up. I'm so worried people are gonna take this as like a, a Sims 4 My First Pet Stuff 2 because they're adding more snow things. 
as if any of this has anything to do with seasons. I feel like people in this community, no offense, but people in this community take things that are like, this could remotely possibly fit into the scope of a different pack. How dare they? They're stealing my money. When realistically, you just can't put everything in a pack. Um, there are budgets and stuff. They can't make it all. And people are even saying that tiny living should have been in university. In what world is a tiny house university related. How many university students do you know that live in tiny homes? This like tiny home trend is has nothing to do with university. Have you seen the tiny house shows on HGTV? I mean, come on. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know much about skiing. I'm gonna be real. So like downhill versus cross country skiing, I don't know if I have a preference between these two things. However, I think that if they added ice skating on a pond, like if, if ponds in the game could freeze over and you could skate on them, if it were any pond, I would love that. Cause you know, as of right now, they kind of fixed it with Island Living in the update where you your Sims can swim in the open world, like in a lot of the water in a lot of places. If I could skate on it, like wouldn't that be so fun to like go to the pond in your neighborhood and like, skate around. I, I would like that. <laughs> I think that would be cute. I don't think I care that much about ice fishing or snowshoeing. I would love to sled and I would love to mountain climb. <laughs> I think snowboarding was fun in The Sims 3. I don't know much about snowmobiling and I'm gonna go with um downhill and cross-country skiing. I don't know how to vote for these. I don't know like how to place them. I'm like, I don't know, snow but like give me, I would, I wouldn't be opposed to snowmobiling. But I don't really know, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not necessarily a snowmobiling expert. You guys, I live in Florida. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <gasps> oh, in which areas do you want to have the most content? Okay. I need more traits and skills, come on. I feel like aspirations at this point in this game are kind of like pack tutorials. Like, they give one new aspiration for a pack and it sort of like walks you through the pack. And it isn't necessarily like the aspiration of my dreams. I would love for aspirations to be more like, you know, like a Sims life goal. <laughs> but instead they seem kind of just like, here's a thing I'm interested in for the time being and I'll finish by the time I am an adult. And it's just a, a weird like pack tutorial. I mean, the one they added with Island Living, like what kind of, do some grilling. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's just not like a thing to achieve really anymore and I wish that it was different But like I feel weird being like give me more aspirations because they're gonna be like this I don't want them like this. I miss like the lifetime wish Aspect of them from the sims 3 how they were like sort of this ultimate goal you were trying to achieve And I like how in the sims 4 they're sort of like tiered and there's different steps to completing them I think that's really cool I just don't like how they're kind of just like tick boxes for for packs now like move to the city <laughs> Throw a party, okay. <laughs> the base game ones are kind of like reach level blah 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 in this career and I think that's fun But otherwise, I don't know and honestly you guys so with careers Here's my theory right and they kind of fixed this a little bit when they gave us the ability to like be self-employed But part of me, I don't really care about active careers too much Right, like I love being able to go with my sim to work and be a doctor, but that does kind of get repetitive sometimes doing active careers and without, it's just gonna be repetitive no matter what. I mean, all the careers are, but when you have to play the whole day in this repetitive career and it, it gets kind of boring to play over and over again and it takes forever to level up. I mean, they're fun, but I don't think I need to have a million more of them. I would kind of prefer to have more labels for my sims career, like just more off lot rabbit hole careers with just more titles. We got teacher finally with university, but like if you gave me more types of careers, just a bunch of just the ability to say my sim, hey, my sim is, you know, a, a whatever. This sim's a taxi driver. I don't know why that came to my mind because we don't even have cars in this game, but like I just want to have the ability to be like, yes, this is what they do, go off to work now. Because when you only have so many careers, like your sims kind of all do the same thing over and over again and having more different labels and kind of interesting ideas, like astronaut, super cool. I don't really care about being an astronaut. Astronaut. I just want to be able to say my sims an astronaut and have them go off to work So I think I'm gonna prefer off lot careers, but I, I wouldn't be opposed to more active careers And I don't really care about home-based careers either to be honest I don't really use lot traits at all like I think they're fun sometimes but like penny pixies Oh boy, you find a few simoleons here and there like that's kind of fun sometimes But like I don't really care about that. I don't feel like it's a necessary part of my gameplay Different lot types though, I would love. I would very, very, very much like that. <laughs> and that's the thing again, it is kind of like a label thing, right? I just want to have more different places to go. And having new lot types kind of inspires you for new things to build too, doesn't it? I would like that very much, thank you. <laughs> Which previous expansion packs or game packs would you like to see receive a bit of extra polish or additional development? Select up to three. All right, my first pet stuff 2.0 for real this time. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> I don't know. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm gonna be real. Step one, I want more apartments and better ability to change apartments. I want, we now can have the roommate system. Like, is there a way to build our own apartments? I want apartments. <laughs> if anyone picks Strangerville for this, by the way, I will punch you in the face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Honestly, some additions and get to work, like some some more development or polish to the retail system could be kind of cool. Maybe even like another career. I don't know if they would add another career to it, but like I think some polishing to the retail system from get to work, I would really enjoy because it's great now and it, it has so much potential. Like I love the retail system and I think that adding more to that could be awesome. This is too much pressure. I don't know why like <laughs> I feel so pressured right now. You know, I might say get together. I think get together is a great pack. I love the world. I love the concept of clubs. But if you're gonna polish anything, like I love seasons, love cats and dogs, love Discover University, hate get famous, but I just don't care about that pack that much. So it doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not for me. I get no say. But I really think that get together like has such great potential. And it is honestly, I think the most underrated expansion pack. I love get together. If they could add more to that and make it somehow better, I'm so into that, 100%. Okay, what improvements would make it easier for you to create the Sims you want? You've given me a text box here, so <laughs> you're asking for this, by the way. Honestly, the first thing that comes to mind is pronouns. Obviously, you guys know we don't have like the ability to choose your Sims pronouns right now. And so you can make a Sim who's non-binary in your mind, and then the game will assign them like a gendered he or she pronoun and then it'll use it in text boxes and stuff and it's kind of weird and wrong and not good. And this is kind of, I think, a deep-seated issue with the game because it's just the way it's made. The whole game is so gendered and it's got issues with translations and stuff and I think the best solution to that is just to not use pronouns and only use your sim's name because in certain languages, like, the whole language is so gendered. I mean, like, it's a very sticky issue and I think a lot of people are putting pronouns as an answer to this and I absolutely agree with you. The ability to choose your sims pronoun would be awesome. I don't know what the easiest solution for them to do that is, but um, <laughs> we'll put that one down. I want to pick like likes and dislikes too. Turn ons, turn offs, stuff like that. I wish that I could kind of define my sims personality a little bit better. I mean, even just having three traits is not good. Like we don't have enough ability to be like, this is what my sim actually is like. I wish that we could impact how they act more. I think that likes and dislikes are a good start with that. Honestly, let's put... Let's put turn-ons and turn-offs too, because like, I'm into that. Um, nail polish. <laughs> I feel like that's not um, the answer they're looking for, but that's the one I'm giving, so. This was supposed to take seven minutes, they said. I'm recording for 30 minutes. <laughs> I, I take this way too seriously. Obviously, more hair and skin color swatches. I mean, just the fact that we only have so few of these is ridiculous. And the, the skin color update they did, they added so many bad swatches. I mean, it's unbelievable the fact they haven't fixed this by now. That is very important. I think it's a very obvious answer, but God, please, come on, come on. You're making a life simulation game. Like, <laughs> and last but not least, makeup that actually works for all skin tones. <laughs> Been saying it for a long time. Still, they still haven't fixed it. We still just, it doesn't, the makeup we have looks good on like slightly tanned white people and that's it. And that's not good. Again, you're making a life simulation game. You gotta make stuff that works for everybody. I don't understand how you don't, but it's, you know. <gasps> oh, who is your fave? It's like the three of your most loved characters or households from The Sims. <gasps> Come on, Bella Goth, Grim Reaper iconic. And you know what? I think the cow plant. These are the three most iconic Sims characters. Like, we know this for a fact. They're the most recognizable, like, I think a lot of it is because they look the same across all of the games and stuff like that. I think these three. Incredible. <laughs> what brands would you like the Sims to collaborate with? Oh my god, Funko, come on. Easy. Imagine if we had, like, pop figures, but instead of Bob Ross, it's Bella Goth. And instead of the Dementor, it's the Grim Reaper. I mean, guys. <laughs> and Ikea. Obviously. <laughs> Easy answer. And how satisfied or dissatisfied are you overall with The Sims 4? Guys, come on. I love this game. There are always going to be things that could be improved, but this is my favorite game of all time. I am obsessed with this game. It is a wonderful game. They do very good work. <laughs> Done. I feel so powerful right now. That also took me 32 minutes. It was supposed to take seven. <laughs> you promised me seven minutes. It's okay. I expected this to happen to me. I always do this to myself. But you guys, I'll link that survey down below. Please take it. Let your voice be heard, okay? This was an interesting survey. I They asked a lot of questions about winter sports <laughs> and snow, which is curious. 
but I mean, I've been saying for a long time I'd like a resort pack based in the mountains. I don't know. <laughs> all right, but I'm gonna go, so please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day, and so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. I want to have my sims go sledding. Think how cute that would be, like kids going sledding with their family. Oh my god, I'm such a weenie. Wouldn't that be adorable? It's the little things, you guys. <laughs>